Hey, this is Austin from TurboLab. In this video, I'm gonna give you four options for rebuilding a ball bearing 6262 turbo. The current situation with this ball bearing 6262 turbo is that it wasn't getting enough oil, if any at all, and the cage came apart and is not usable at this point. So the problem here is that with the ball bearing 6262 is that there are three different style cages, which is this piece right here, which have at least two different style shafts that go with them. The, the difference in two of them I know is that the shaft is staggered or not staggered, which has to have the matching shaft. So if you wanna buy that cage from Precision, one of my customers called them and, and told me that they wanted $400 just for that part. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to avoid paying that much for that part. So the first option you could go with is you can replace this cage. And if you're lucky, it's the staggered one because I have some of those. This is the same cage found in the GT37R, the GT40R, and the GT42R. It's designed for a staggered turbine wheel. This is what I mean by a staggered turbine wheel. This side is basically the same as a journal bearing, but then it gets staggered out so that it presses onto the shaft and has a snug fit. So that's option number one. If you can replace the cage I might be able to get it for you, I might not. It depends on which cage you have. The second option is that you can machine the turbine housing for a ball bearing center section and you can use this compressor wheel, the 6262 compressor wheel, if you machine it down from five millimeter to a two millimeter super back. So, to make this work for a GT35R cartridge, you need the bearing housing, the bearing cage, you need the ball bearing turbine wheel, and the compressor wheel has to be machined down on the back, and then it has to be rebalanced. And also to do that, you need this adapter plate. This adapter plate will mate up to this bearing housing, which will mate up to this compressor housing. So you could use the original compressor wheel housing, this bearing housing, that cage, this plate to adapt it, and that turbine wheel. And then you need the heat shield. If you decide to go with the GT35R bearing housing and bearing cage, you also do have one more option. You could go with the GTX3582R compressor wheel and machine the 6262 compressor housing, or you could also go with our compressor housing here, which is the four inch with the open, uh, open anti-surge. And we also do sell this wheel and housing package. So I'll link to that in case you wanna check that out. And uh, to go with this housing, this compressor wheel, and the ball bearing uh, center cartridge, you do need this seal plate to do that. This is a GT style seal plate. It is, it's different from this one. This one's called a TO4E seal plate. This goes directly with this compressor housing. This seal plate goes directly with this compressor housing. This plate does not go with that compressor housing. Normally the GT35R is limited to the 62.35 by 68 turbine wheel, but I did have some special turbines made that allow you to run a 67 by 76 turbine and your GT35R cartridge with the GT35R bearing gauge. The next option you have is you could put a Hulsa HX40 in this. In order to do that, 
the, you would basically throw all this away and then you would have a Hulsa HX40 which you machine this housing for the center section and then it get, gets machined for the turbine wheel. I actually do have a CNC program for that too. If you do choose to go the HX40 route, that does open up a lot of different options. You have the option of a 60 millimeter compressor wheel, 62, 63 by 99, which is this one, and a 67 by 89 by 95. You also have the option to go in with the 67 millimeter turbine rather than the 64 turbine. That's 67 by 76. So you can build a turbo good for up to 950 horsepower depending on the turbine housing size. Out of a .82, I would really consider that would restrict it down to about 650 to 700 horsepower. The last option that you have for rebuilding the 6262 ball bearing turbo is you can go with a GT37R bearing housing, which we do have this part. The GT37R turbine shaft which is the same, it's like a P-trim except it's staggered so that it accepts the ball bearing cage. This is the ball bearing cage, so this is the one that's very similar to the uh, one out of the Precision, and it's actually some of the, some of them are the same, but some of them aren't. And then you need a compressor wheel to go with that because the 6262 would probably be too small for your liking unless you want to make like a 6266 ball bearing and then you would need this uh yeah the compressor wheel so this is the t67 compressor it's the same as the gt37r and you would use that with a the correct seal plate which this is a seal plate this is a two millimeter super back height but you need a five millimeter super back height because that's what the t67 compressor wheel height is. This is the seal plate that you need to run the 37R. It's a 5 millimeter super back height so it's designed for the T67 compressor wheel. Now this wheel was cut down to 2 millimeter so if I wanted to make this work for this wheel we could use this seal plate which is for a 2 millimeter but in this case uh, this is very rare because the reason why this is cut down by the way is because if you cut this down to two millimeter you can use this wheel with the GT 35R bearing housing and make something similar to an 86 HDA but it's a T67 compressor so it's 67 millimeter rather than uh, whatever the 86 HDA is I think it's 62 by 86 or something and then you need the thrust collar that's specifically designed for the GT37R in order to make this cartridge. Then after you have all these pieces, in order to make this work, you will need a different compressor housing. The style of compre compressor housing that would fit with this is the same as our GTX 3582R compressor housing. So technically you could use our GTX 35A2R compressor wheel if you use the 2mm super back plate. If you want to use the T67 compressor wheel and not machine it, you need the 5mm super back plate. And then after all that, this has to be machined, but simply for the turbine wheel, not for the bearing housing. One thing to keep in mind is that the PT-6262 and the 6466 both use a uh, front seal the same as the GT-40, which is also the same as the Big Shaft rebuild kit front seal. The GT-37R uses a uh, TO-4E compressor seal, which is the same as the Power Stroke 7.3 and the same as the TO-4E turbo rebuild kit. This information that I just shared with you may have come off as somewhat confusing and a lot to absorb. 
but if you watch enough of my videos, you'll learn this pretty quickly and you'll learn how you can fix your turbo in different ways. So if you want to see more videos just like this one and educate yourself on it, you can always subscribe to this channel to watch more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you need any of these parts, you can always email me at turbolabamerica at gmail.com.